we are slowly killing off all the animals on Earth just so we can have food to eat. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham filling in here on D News and I'm here to bring you some rather unfortunate news. As it turns out, pesticides are killing more than just bees. Scientists have now proof that birds are in trouble as well. For a few years now, millions of bees have been dying off from a condition known as colony collapse disorder. It's pretty much what it sounds like. A colony of bees will get so agitated that they'll abandon their hive and die of exposure. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, North American beekeepers have lost up to 90% of their colonies. Wild bees are probably in the worst shape. It's not even just bees. Tons of other insects are massively dying out as well. This is the point where you might be asking yourself, why do I even care about bees? If you don't know, over one third of the food we eat has been pollinated by honeybees. And yeah, that's a lot. Take away those bees and well, we're gonna have a big problem. But insects don't only control our food supply, birds also rely on them because they eat them. We're essentially taking away all the birdie grocery stores around the world. According to a new study from the Netherlands, insect eating birds have seen a major decline in recent years. That's right, barn swallows, starlings, and missile thrushes, the birds that you might find cute are dying. And it's all because we need so many freaking crops to feed everyone on Earth. This is some of the first real solid evidence that neonicotinoid pesticides are harming the environment. Now, according to the European Union, these pesticides are no longer allowed to be used on flowering crops, but they still can be put on other crops, such as barley and wheat. And keep in mind, that's only in Europe. Tons of other countries are using this stuff virtually on everything. I'm looking at you, United States. You know all those corn and soybeans that you love? all grown in the Midwest using neonicotinoids. Why are all these countries still using this pesticide? Well, for one, it apparently works really well, maybe too well. Secondly, many believe that other factors such as mites or pollution are really the insect killing culprits. But just for one minute, let's look at the farmer's perspective. I mean, they're protecting billions of dollars worth of crops that feed millions. They can't just let it get eaten by bugs. But the fact of the matter is neonicotinoids are the most likely candidate for killing bees, birds, bats, what have you. We either need to try a new pesticide or figure out the real reason for the bees, the birds, and our sake. Without bees and other pollinators, we can't possibly grow enough food for the entire world. Essentially, we'll starve, and so will all the animals that eat insects, and in turn, the animals who eat animals who eat insects. What do you think the solution to this problem is? Is there something we haven't thought of? Let me know in the comments below, and subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.